Welcome to HopkinsSports.com. Ernie LaRossa here with Johns Hopkins football coach Jim Margraff. Blue Jays knock off Juniata 52-17 today at Homewood Field. And coach, uh, tight game early. We get a, a defensive hold to make it 14-10, and then, and then we really take over. The offense took off. Our, our offense played very well. We scored every time we had the ball in the first half. Uh, I thought I thought Juniata played very well early on. I thought their offense, uh, they had a great plan coming in. Uh, their kids executed. They did a nice job. And it was back and forth for the first several series. But it was great to get a defensive stop there and then uh, and be able to, to get, get up a couple of scores. Talk about what was really working for you. We were able to run and, and, and throw pretty effectively at the half. And, uh, you know, we had over 175 yards rushing and passing by halftime. Yeah, I thought our guys played very well. Uh, I thought Craig Kamara did a great job calling plays. We mixed it up. Uh, there, there was some good runs, some good pass. There was a lot going on. So, um, yeah, there, there was, uh, I, again, they, they play some good defense, but I, I thought our guys uh, executed very well today. You talk about wanting to win all three phases, and defense, you know, we forced some turnovers today, got some interceptions, and that's always a positive when you can do that. <laughs> We're really excited about, uh, about our special teams play. We had a kickoff return for a touchdown, the first one in a long time. Uh, actually, we're the only team in the conference in the last, I don't know, eight, ten years that hasn't had a return, fumble, or a special team return for a touchdown. So it was nice to, to, uh, to break that. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought all, all three phases played very well when we get right down to it. Talk about, you know, the guy who returns that kickoff is Brad Monday. He's probably been close to breaking a bunch during his career, and this is the first time he's able, actually able to, to take one. Just talk about what he brings to the team and, and his diversity. Uh, he's such a great player. And, uh, you know, there, there's so many times in the game you need a big play somewhere. And he'll give it to you on offense. He'll give you on special teams. Guys, if we put him on defense, he'll give it to us there, too. So he's uh, he's so valuable to our team right now. Luckily, you have a Monday play in defense, and he came up with two uh, interceptions today. Just talk about Michael and, and maybe both of those guys just being a part of the program. You know, Michael's really coming into his own. He's, he's done a great job uh, at corner. We're putting him at safety sometimes. Uh, you know, with, with Jack Toner back there, it's nice to have another player uh, making so many plays. So with, with those two guys, we've been very sound the last few weeks. Okay, again, Johns Hopkins improves to 5-0 and overall, 4-0 and in the Centennial Conference with a 52-17 win today at Homewood Field against Juniata. Blue Jays by week next week back in action on October 14th at Dickinson. Stay tuned to HopkinsSports.com for everything Blue Jay football.